fake and the enemy. President Trump not sparing words when describing the media. On campus, global headlines are posted on this newsstand daily, but it's not how most students consume the news. Lucy Stevenson says her Facebook feed includes various viewpoints from her friends in Texas and Berkeley. Like most people, she consumes digital news. She turns to print publications such as those posted outside the Free Speech Movement Cafe for a more global perspective. And then it's quaint, but I'll walk through here almost every day just to see how different parts of the world are prioritizing their news. In a recent study, the Pew Research Center found that social media and news websites are the most common pathways to news. 36% of those surveyed got their news directly from the news site, 35% from social media, and 20% from the search engine. In the age of alternative facts and accusations of fake news, some readers have changed their habits. Where instead of just reading the New York Times, I'll now kind of try to triangulate um, and then also look at all the primary source uh, pieces that are available now through different like streamings of interrogations of subjects or release of court documents. Freshman Jeffrey Nickel admits he does not keep tabs on current events as much as he'd like. When he does, it's with caution and from social media shared by family members or friends. I feel like I've always been kind of skeptical of news because I would say that almost all uh, like major news networks and like almost anyone has like a political agenda that they're trying to push in one way or another, uh, whether it's an agenda that you agree with or you don't agree with. I feel that all news is, is slightly biased. Aside from consuming news, the study also looked at how consumers acted on it by sharing the news online or discussing it with someone else. Receiving news from a family or friend elicited the most activity, 73% of those surveyed indicated, outpacing social media, which only half of respondents took action on. Overall, talking with someone offline, whether in person or over the phone, was the most common action taken with digital news. The study also found that while younger and older news consumers access links at the same rate, younger adults are less likely to remember the source. Reporting for Cal TV News, I'm Thomas Maglonia.